I'm a 12 year old girl and I've never had my own bedroom in my entire life but this is literally all about to change because me and my family are moving to the world's most popular beach, Bondi, and in that house that we're moving to, I have my own bedroom. <gasps> okay, I'm literally so nervous, so I'm just gonna skate it all off. In this video, I'm gonna be designing how I want my bedroom all over. I don't know, I just like, I'm really like preparing myself because we're literally moving to Bondi any day now and it's all gonna happen and you're all, you're gonna come with me like we're in this journey together it's all happening i can't believe it ignore my grit day <laughs> i know it's bad i picked it when i was like five i forgot to say i'm not 100 percent sure what room i'm getting but i'm hoping that i get this one it's about three meters wide and three meters long you get it this is like kind of how the design looks Home time now. It's one of like the biggest moments of my life. I literally almost got ran over, but <laughs> biggest moments of my life because I'm literally going to be having my own bedroom. I don't know. I just want to make my bedroom like the most perfect thing ever, and I want to know what your experience with your bedroom was like, and what you regret about it, and what you love about it, and what you think I should add to mine. But let me know in the comments. And do you have your own bedroom, or are you still sharing with your siblings? And do you think I am too young? I'm 12 years old to have my own bedroom. I know a lot of people think I'm too young to wear makeup. Do you agree with that? Do you think that I'm definitely too young to wear makeup and have my own bedroom and stuff like that because I want to know what your opinion is because your opinion really matters to me. Yeah. Bloxburg. Sabre is going to map in my bedroom because I have no clue about the scale of the whole house. So it will not be realistic if I don't have the right design. So Sabre has fixed it. We can fit five beds in my room. I do not want a glass door, that is like zero privacy. Okay, I'm gonna say that I want a sliding door with a lock. That's definitely not gonna work. Kinda like the walls we have right now. As you can see the walls we have now. Oh my god, sorry, I didn't mean to make you fall off. Like this, oh, but they're like planks, white planks. This was Biggie's room. Okay, I want just timber floor. Ah, oh, you know what? I want carpet. No, I don't. The layout, just white and timber. Sadly, we can't get rid of the windows, but if you look into my bedroom, these shutters that I really love and some dangling stuff on it, but you know, you can shut it. I love them so much and I can't imagine what life would be like without them. There's the shutters. I'm gonna quickly pop it you know, inside. Bed. Oh my God, that is not a bed. Cause I wanna have a single bed, but let's just see what would the double bed look like. That looks pretty cool, but no. Nah. Okay, but the first thing I want to work out is what type of bed would I want? Do I want a double bed or a single bed? I'm kind of drawn to a single bed at the moment because then I get more room, but oh, I want that bed! That's just a lounge. No, it's not. Oh, good. I'm going to send this to the group chat. And I want to show you something. So I love my Kendo room so much. Like, I, if you don't know what I, what I got from, check out this video. So I have to kind of stick to that theme because I will be bringing the painting from my old room. And if you think my own room because this looks like my own room this is what our bedroom is currently like so saber is here we have little wardrobes separating them that's sockies and then there's biggies and then it's mine so four kids jam pack in the same room and this is my little bedside table and all my stuff i want to take this bean bag when we move in i think i'm going to flip it onto this side because i like the pink a little bit more well not more my plaid but then the splash of colors come from this so that's my idea for it we walk in i have these sliding doors and then this is my little bed, which is right next to my shutters. This lady just told me I should add a painting, so I have to add that because I do have that painting that I just showed you. I also want to add a little rug or carpet. Yeah, carpet. So I've got my little rug there, and then I want a bedside table. I feel like a bedside table is so important. You know, I'm kind of going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to move my bed to the side because I just want to see what I can squeeze in my room. So a little lamp would be something really cute that I want in my room. Okay, let's have a look at lamps. Oh, this is a nice little lamp. Mm, it's too bright though. Okay, let's do a little bit of research about lamps because I actually am debating whether I want one or not. So that lamp's kind of cool. Wait, ew! It's attached to it? That is, that is, that is freaking me out how it's like in the bedside table. No. At the same time, I want a simple lamp and then I also want a crazy lamp at the same time. That's really pretty. Oh my God, there is nothing in the world that I want more than this Hello Kitty mirror. It's really, 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 really want that. Yeah, and you can also put it on modes and it's a mirror. Mwah. You know what, let's be real. I'm never gonna use a lamp if I had one. Oh, and I know something I really want. I want the light switch to be near my bed because I don't want to be getting up in the middle of the night. Or any time of the night and to go all the way near my door 
to turn off the lights. That's something I really do not want to do. So that's going to be just there. LEDs. What? I feel like it'll be cute on the door, but there we go. Oh, no, no, what's happening? Like that, yes. You know what, I should have done this first. I don't know why I didn't do that. This is how it's looking so far. Pop I look sick, good on your nose. Yay. I'm kind of nervous to move. I can't wait to move anyway. Your room's looking sweet. Mm, and it's safe, it's got the right size and everything. So we'll see, so we'll see what we can squeeze in there. Love you. Love you. There we go. So there are the legends there, the bottom lights and the door lights. Now we're just gonna do a little layer on top. Like something like this would be beyond perfect. These are the LEDs now, legends. I should add a roof. A little flat one. Okay, I'm gonna have a little look inside the room now. It looks, oh, that looks sick. I'm gonna have this painting this legend recommended I should add. It's pretty big, the painting I have. It's like that big, so I think we should have it there. So I'm gonna see if I can make the painting the exact one, because Kendon's artwork might pop out, but no, nothing popped up. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty similar to the colors that we've got. Time to add the cupboards. I think I actually stuffed up and put the door too close. Great. Anyway, I have a wardrobe there, a wardrobe there, and then a little desk. Kind of like that. There we go. We have these really uncomfy chairs at the moment, but they're literally fine and they never bother me, so I'm not happy with that. But although a little sofa chair would be so nice, but we can't do it. Another thing I want to look at is this Hello Kitty gaming chair. I don't know what type of chair that I want. Find whether I want a gaming chair or a normal chair. I do really like how they have the bows on it. Oh my god, and it has a little leg rest. Okay, I think that's pretty perfect. <gasps> oh my god, it is. They have it in white. I'm also gonna have these like overhead cabinets. See what I mean with the smart storage areas? I just love things like that because it just makes sense. So that's a little desk area. So we'll probably have like little pens here. Oh, something I really, really want but I don't know if I'll be allowed to have because is a little fridge. Like that. I feel like we want some books up in the cupboard bit. If I feel like being smart and reading, then I'll just go in this cabinet. What else do we need? We've got a little book there. Because I'm such a reader. <laughs> I want like a little shelf. Like a random shelf. Yeah, like that. Don't want to bang my head on these either. You know one of these things? This is what I really want in my room. Just one of those simple hanging things. But this is too big though. Oh my god, what if my bed goes there? I do really want to have one of those swings. That's so important to me. And then we can have the painting here. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Maybe just one swing. I don't need two. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I could forget the beanbag for this. Easy. This is like my nice little day bed area. Okay, I'm so happy with it. We're back in. This is how my bedroom looks. This would be such a cool little bedroom. I really want a mirror. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I want to put a mirror there. That's fine. Although I have LED lights, I do just want a normal light. Okay, it's time for that we've been waiting for. Let's see my bedroom. So I want this little doorbell that I showed you. And I really want sliding doors. And then when I go in, I've got my little picture there. It's very bright and colorful, and it's the Kendone one, but it is very big, so I wanted to add that there. I have a swing with a little mirror there, which is so cute. And then a bed there. Um, I've got LED, then I've got a light so I can turn that on. This one, I have my books. This one, I have my paper. I want to have a printer in there, but Boxburg doesn't have printers. Here, I have my makeup. And then this is where I can sit down. I have this little efficient desk so I can write down stuff. And then my bed, of course, and this little coffee table with the swing that I love. And I can't get rid of this shutter, but I've made the windows into shutters. Ah, I can't wait for my own room. Just thank you so much for coming with me. Catch me in a good.